sorry about that. What seems to be the problem? It's my girlfriend, Stacy. She suddenly ran out of me last night. Excellent. So you've heard a bit about what we do then? A little. My friend sent me here. And... You've paid up front, correct? Yes. Great. So, shall we get started then? Well, I'd appreciate some more information first. Don't worry about it. All will be revealed. Just relax. Where am I? You tell me. This is your subconscious. This is my apartment. I was hoping you'd say that. Why are we here? So you can fix yourself. I don't need fixing. Why are you here then? To save my relationship. Exactly. Now in order to do that, you need to take a look at things from a different perspective. Currently, I'm in control of your subconscious. My aim is to show you exactly what happened here last night between you and your girlfriend without your personal filter in the way. What's my filter? It's your interpretation of events. Don't worry, the payoff will come. Now, for learning purposes, if you could please explain to me exactly what happened to you last night. Well, I arrived home. Stacy was on the phone. She took no notice of me. Eventually, she wrapped up her conversation only to robotically ask me how my day was while scrolling on her phone. I moved these to the bedroom, but she just began watching Netflix without me. I decided to go to sleep, but even then, Stacy's laughing kept me awake. I politely asked her to quiet down, and before I know it, she's out the door. Hey, Mum. Really? Oh, well, that's a relief. Yeah, yeah, he's good. Speak of the devil. Yeah, he's just arrived home. Yeah, his business is really taking off. Anyway, I better let you go. So glad Grandpa's feeling better. Send everyone there my love. Alright, love you too. Bye. Sorry about that, Bren. How was your day? It was okay. What'd you get up to? Not much. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. That's funny. This isn't going anything like how you described. I know what'll cheer you up. What? A little Netflix and chill. Snoozy. <laughs> Are you kidding me? After the day I've had, not only do I come home with someone who wants nothing to do with me, but is insistent on keeping me up all night. Would you shut up and let me get some sleep? I don't understand. That was nothing like how I remembered it. That, my friend, is a prime example of someone allowing their interpretation of reality to become their reality. What I've found in my time working here is that it's the smallest things in life that cause the biggest problems. 
if everyone on earth was able to separate their reality from their perception of reality, well, I'd say we'd find ourselves living in a pretty awesome place. Until then, I think I'll just keep doing my job. Mm -hmm.